Hello, it's Sarah. Let's see, what do I have to do? This? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Just wanted to center everything. I'm going to do an art journal page, and I think I'm just going to put some blue color in the background with some of this. Um, and then I think I'm going to use doilies as well for just some texture. And then I'm going to use my brayer. So I'm going to use my new collage page. This is just a random art journal page I just felt like creating today. Um, in my last video, I talked about the color wheel a little bit and that to avoid making mud, just use color that's next to it's next to each other on the color wheel. So here's the color wheel. So in this case, oh, and I have two dogs that are running around and I may have to, Kirby, Jenny, can you leave her alone, please? Anywho, um, so I'm going to go with blues for my background and I'm going to just add a little bit of color with this. This is like part of a um, gel print. I just want to take those hard edges off. Um, and this is part of, um, I think this was a, not a catalog, uh, calendar. And this is another jelly print. Actually, I'll leave the hard edges on that one. I like that. So something like that. So I bought today at Hobby Lobby. This is Collage Podge. And I haven't used Collage Podge before. I'm a Mod Podge girl. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to grab a grungy brush and I can pretty much just go off camera to do this so I won't take up too much time. And I'm just going to put some color on my page using paper collage, which I love collage. I don't know why, but I've actually collaged whole pages. Um, before c covered the whole page with just different papers and stuff and I just love it I don't know why like I just feel like that's all you need to do um, and I mean it is if that's all you want to do that's all you got to do but um, and when I do jelly prints this little paper here is a, a jelly print and it's on um, cardstock so in the future, I'm really going to try and use either printer paper or deli paper or something much finer because collage wants to stick better when it's a fine paper. Like it's not too thick. It's just easier to get the thinner papers to adhere. So I got those. And then I'm going to put part of a doily, I think, like right here. And then I'm going to use my brayer. I'm really loving using my brayer to add my color. And that way I don't saturate the page. Hopefully I don't, I get a little bit of a, a lighter um, background because I'm a heavy hand. I say that a lot. I repeat myself a lot, guys. But, um... I'm going to do that. All right, I'll be right back when this is done. All right. And you can't see much yet, but I've adhered, cut those four pieces of blue paper and some doilies. And I think it's pretty dry. I used my heat gun to kind of speed dry it. And now I'm just going to put uh, some clear gesso. And this is Liquitex clear gesso because I thought white would be good, but I just want to keep... The color of that paper because I just really love it. Um, these two pieces are from a calendar that I had and then the other ones are um, jelly plate prints that I did. So let's just, I'm just going to apply this with the brayer too and it's clear gesso so it's going to seal the paper. And I'm working in the Diane Reevely journal. This is the, um, I guess it's 8x8. Eight eight. 
size and I have the big one too. I got the big one for Wonderlust um, last year. I did Wonderlust which is an online uh, workshop, a year long workshop and uh, I didn't use up nearly at all any of the art journal so I have a lot of that left. Kirby come around. Um, but I wanted to just seal the paper a little bit so that, you know, depending on what I do, and I am planning on keeping this pretty um, sheer, I just, I just like to add the texture too. Like when you use the brayer, you get some cool texture. Like, um, what is it called? It begins with a D. Um, Cat Hand has... <clears throat> made it um dia I can't think of the name of the it's like an impression or a, um the little lines that it makes all right so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do Kirby come this way Kirby come sorry I gotta get my dog Kirby come this way Good girl. She was scratching at the other door. Jenny's just bombarding. my. I have my son's dog, and she's just bombarding her. She's too much. Joe's coming down. Um, but yeah, these doilies I've either gotten from swaps, gifts, or I actually think I've bought them too. Joe, I'm making a video. But Ginny's definitely bombarding. Would you put her in the kitchen, please? Yeah. Okay. So, when I add color, you're going to be able to see that I've put a couple doilies in the background. So, let's see what happens. Um, I'll be back. I'm going to dry this, and then we'll start adding color. Okay, everything's dry. The dogs are separated, and I can play gonna start with that gorgeous new sapphire metallic it's called extreme sheen by decoward I got this th today and I didn't know these existed I was looking for neons in blue and I only I got this one that oh no I didn't get a blue neon glitter blue this is so I'm gonna use that but I think I have a neon hold on I pulled my Della Rowney FW acrylics and this is called process cayenne this one's called Galactic Blue. So I have a feeling this one will be a little more pearly. They're very similar, actually. Um, let's just start and see what happens. Um, again, going to use my brayer. I don't think this is shook up enough. Because you can tell, like, when I just squirted that out, it, it's separated like there's not yeah see there's a difference I don't know if you could tell I could have zoomed in but all right I'm just gonna start putting some of this on there and now this is a background this is not the focal image, so you can see some of those flowers. The heart kind of didn't do what I hoped. I thought the paint would adhere more to the edges. Um, yeah, listen, I'm no expert, and I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm just kind of, and I wanted to try and keep it not all over the place, too. But I can't, I can't control myself when I get involved with paint. It's going to be, I have to control myself. All right. But I definitely wanted to see the doilies. So I'm just going to put a little bit all over the page. I didn't go very much right here. really blended in with what I had on the page already. 
I think it's just very um, in the same family, right? So I'm going to wipe that off. Actually, I should be using, here I have my deli paper. to bright, I should bray her off. So I'm going to try and pick up some more of that. And then put it, put it down on my deli paper. And then I'll have this to collage with at a later, at another project. So now I want to try that, um, you know what I'll do, an opaque, I mean a, um, just a matte based blue first. I have, um, let's just do a light blue. This is called Whispering Turquoise and see what happens with that. This is not a um, metallic or anything. It's just a, a matte. With a little paint booger on there. And let's see. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this the way I do. Like, I just went over the... Um, which I don't want to lose this those papers like there's a little flower on that one that I kind of like so I just want to put it in the places where I don't have color or I didn't put the paper down can't really see that I'm really curious about this glitter one and you know what I meant to do too I meant to put some print like um print newspaper or not newspaper book pages and stuff but there's always another day so this is very similar in color to that um eh, not really so i just got to make sure it's going to be shook and shake it, shaken up and uh, maybe i'll take some of it So this art journal page is just going to be about, I'm feeling very love. I want to try love, compassion, um, bravery, and I want to pass it on to my son who's in recovery. So um, let's see. So here it is. This is called... glitter blue. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know why Kirby's crying. She probably wants to go out. Ooh. This might pick up See, I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera, but there is definitely glitter. Like, let me see. And it's not just wetness. It's it's definitely sparkle. O M J. I can totally see it, especially over where, like this doily looks so cool. I can see the flowers because all the doilies were different designs. Um, I think that's enough. Um, let me see if I have any more because I can put it over here. Hey, look, let me see if you can... See the sparkle? Yeah, I just saw some. Anyway, there is a little bit of glitter. Um, wow, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm liking it. 
I have to say. Now, don't... Oh, Kirby, what's the matter? Go lay down, crazy. Alright. I have these FW acrylic paints, too. And I was thinking of doing something that... I um, can't think of her name. Uh... She uses sprays a lot, but I wanted to use these acrylics, and I want to see if I can get this to do the same thing, but I don't think she would be using like a, a gold or a brown, but I'm going to try and do some drippage, but I kind of want to do it. And then... I just want to see what happens. It's not doing what I thought it was going to do. I wanted it to kind of make the shape of the heart a little bit more. And I just totally colored in the heart, which I did not mean to do. Um, I might be able to take some off. Yeah, because see, that's because I gessoed. So I am able to remove some. Because that's not the look I wanted. I was trying to... Alright, I, I don't think I messed it up too bad. You know what, I'll just have to put it in other places. I'll just put it around all the doilies. Oh, my nose itches. And leave it there. I think my dog wants to go out. I'll be right back. All right, I really don't know what I wanted to accomplish there. I just did some spatter and like I splatted it. And you know, I think I'm just going to let it be because, like I said, this is the background. And I'm just putting blue down and adding interest. And I think I could even take, look, I'm no expert, but I'm just playing. And I don't use these type of um, materials. This is the FW. This is the um, pearlescent FW. So this is called Galactic Blue. And then the other, I have a purple, which that, see, this has a little bit of purple in it. And this does too, and there's a tiny bit of purple right there. I think I'm going to use this for something. I don't know if I'm going to, I could just spatter with it. But um, I was thinking I could take, like, my, maybe some stamps and kind of pick up what I put down I don't know because it's very wet so I'm gonna like try and pick it up with the stamp and in the by doing that I'm getting it on the stamp and then I'm stamping so you see what I'm saying so I'm be, I'm able to make a few dots and kind of also just kind of pick up some of that liquid because they're fluid I mean you know it's fluid acrylic so they're definitely wet they're not um, they probably are gonna stay wet I should probably clean the stamps from time to time too um, and that kind of helped that did pick up some of that and then I'll have to dry it but that's looking pretty blue I think I'm gonna have to be happy with that I think I'm gonna go around the edges and I definitely want to add purple but I think I'm gonna stamp the purple so let me find 
I'm going to put some of this. I shook it up real nice. And I'll put this on my palette. And then I'm going to try and... I have, like, numbers and letters. I think I'm in the mood for numbers. this goes. I'm going to try brayering my stamp too. So I'm going to roll into that color and then roll it onto my stamp because that's a good way to get just on the image. And then I mean this is a sheer opalescent paint. It's not um, pearlescent actually. It's not opaque, so this might not be doing what I had hoped either. But I'm definitely getting some purple in there. And Kirby wants to come in now. Um, again, we're just making a background. So now I've added purple. I've pulled some of the purple that was in these background papers and put them a little more all over the place. I'm going to put some here and up here. And right in here. Here. I get I can't leave any white spots. It's terrible. I didn't intend for this. I wanted to leave some white spots. Like I see other people's work and I I like that and I want to kind of create like that and then I just tend to do what I do. So we'll see. But I added the purple. So I'm not hating it. And here's the thing. Purple's a tricky color when it comes to the color wheel. So we didn't make mud. I think when you layer your color instead of mixing it, and that's why I feel safer with the brayer than I do with a brush sometimes too. I won't make mud as much. But see when I use the drippage, it kind of went, I put it around the edge of some of my collage, but I don't know that I like that necessarily. But this is a very sparkly background and I'm not hating it yet. Like, we're not nearly finished, and there's a lot we can do. I have to go get my dog, and I might use some white to kind of clean up some of these areas that, I, that are just really bugging me. So I'll be back. Okay. I think I could have added this washi. This is the washi that I got today for $2.50 at Hobby Lobby. It's the Tim Holtz. It's called Design Tape. And it's just words, and it's black and white. And black and white is your contrast, or black and white are your contrast. So I have, um, I definitely wanted to, and these words aren't exactly like cherish. I see cherish, hearts, treasure, memories, together, family. I kind of like that. Let's just put a couple of those on here real quick. I just want to put contrast in some places and I don't even know if this is going to stick because it's probably I did just use my um, heat 
my hot heat gun, but um, I just feel like adding the contrast with that, and I should probably go over it with the Mod Podge, but I'm going to take some white, and I'm just going to rub it and try to calm down some of those areas that I don't like um, the drippage. So I'm just kind of rubbing. I don't want to lose um, some of the good stuff though. I do like the sparkle. Like I don't mind that, but this one I don't like. I don't like that it just dripped over there like that. So I'm just going to rub it out. Kind of blend it in that way. And we'll just do some stamping over it. Um, let me look. I want to look up into the camera. So I think I need to add a little white down here because I have it up there, that blendy way. I want to keep it even. And I talk about threes. When, you, when I'm designing or... Um, that got purple and blue but I didn't make mud because we're using um, the same on the color wheel we're in on the same side of the color wheel so we're not in mud territory listen this is a background don't panic we're just establishing some color like this is a piece of paper but it doesn't seem like it's blending in like the rest of the page and that was too much I'm going to do a little over here too. Yeah, I didn't love my drippage. My drippage wasn't my favorite, and that is what I'm trying to kind of disguise right now. But man, I can see the glitter on here, and I'm really loving that glitter. So I might have to go back with another dose of that. But I can definitely see a little bit more of my heart. I don't love this. So you just kind of blot it down a little. And I don't love that. Um, so it's changing, right? Look, I still have the drippage that I did around here. Um... All right, I mean, it's moving, it's changing. Let's see. I think I could probably add my contrast colors. Now for that, um, you know what I'm going to do though? I want to do some more mark making. So I'm going to get out some of those colors, the original colors that I did. So the glitter and the metallic. And I'm going to make circles because they're my fave. And I'll put some white. So now I just have, let's see, where's my, my circle crew? I have some bunch of different size lids that I like to use. I have a Snapple cap. These are my smaller ones. Where's my Snapple cap? I mean, there's just... You can use anything in your heart. Like, look at this big one. This is a regatta cheese cap. Um, I have a very big, look, I have this big, I think I'll use this because I did a big page. This is, um, I don't know, like a the roll to a tape, a pack of tape or something. So I'm just going to put that on the edge of this and just... make some marks and then we'll go a little smaller
I even have a smaller and I want to try this glitter again but I think I want to do solid color so maybe more of like a um the back of this we'll see if I can do that's not probably the best one um I might do some of these because I kind of want I don't think they're going to show up regardless so um I would probably rather um let's see y'all done babe yeah good for you okay <laughs> yeah it's just better it's too much see that's going to be a big blap of glitter so that's good I want that Hopefully, hopefully I shook it up enough. But this is again, background. This is not my focal image. So I can do whatever I want. And I'm hoping, oops, I'm hoping that some of it's going to peek through when I do my, um, so I think I'm going to use some of this white since I have white out here. And I'm going to, um, Put a few white circles. And there's texture and all types of stuff on the page, so you don't get a clear print every time, you know. Um, I love doing it in the white. Like, this is so addictive. I love making these for some reason. They're super fun. And I am going to do something. This is something I never do. I always forget. I shouldn't say never, but I always forget to do. I'm going to use my finger and color in. I need more white. But I'm going to color in some of those circles that I did. Uh, all the littler ones that I did with the um, metallic. Uh, where else? I think that's it. And I think I have this on top of something. Um, and you can do all kinds of, now I could start, like I still see the purple, but now it's starting to look like something. Once you start putting stuff on top, and I'm going to, I think, I want to go with, um, I pull some papers, like I have this, I have a couple R hearts that I, I maybe I'll cut this into a heart too because I think I'm kind of oops you know what I have this is just um, oops sorry here's another heart and another heart this is a piece of my um, the red card it's called it's your target card um, just the envelope has so I just cut that out so I might use that and then I have this is another jelly print I don't like the shape of it as much so I might want to change the shape of it everything's wet on here so I'm trying not to alright let me dry it and I'll be right back okay that's all dry 
and so I want to add a little more contrast with black and then I think I'm going to go in with um, some pinks and oranges and stuff but I have a couple more circles I want to do um, with black this is the Snapple cap and I may color these in with a pink or an orange um, and then I still think I want to do a little bit more with black something like either script or something fine you know what Kate Crane does? Hmm, I don't know if I want to do that. She uses the edge of a credit card or, a, you know, a gift card or something. Let's see. I might have something. I really, I carved this stamp. I'm going to see what this looks like. Because I think I'm going to put my words in black. like spatter but I'm liking it this is looking cool the purple is showing up just enough the glitter is amazing so I would recommend this is the ceram coat Delta ceram coat glitter blue and they have all the different glitter colors but I'm gonna zoom in I don't know if you guys see the purple is showing up really well but like look at that corner all that glitter That's the metallic, but there's glitter too. It's just all over the place. In person, it looks so awesome. Now I'm gonna take, I really wanted to use this fluorescent orange. I don't have, there's not a ton of orange in my um, hearts, but pink and orange is really cool together. So I'm gonna go with it and we can always cover it up. I'm gonna use my finger. And I think I'm going to color in these black ones. Now this is um, a neon, it's called. So it's not fluorescent, but it's neon. I don't know if orange and blue is a good combination, actually. Oh, I just got, it, it wasn't dry, the black, so... I'm just finding a actually I like it I'm liking it keep going um and I think the more you do this the more you play with color you'll create and decide for yourself what your favorite combinations are what goes with what you know I don't do this enough consistently I mean to kind of get that comfort level of knowing what works together so I may just put a little bit of pink like this has gold too um, there's a little orange on here but I can see gold OMG I should have done that with gold I'm going to take some gold. I wonder if orange and gold will make mud. I think I'm just going to do it and see. 
Nope. I don't think it's going to stay fluorescent orange because I'm going real heavy with the gold. But I think I like it better. If a little of the orange peeks through. Wow. Uh, hubba hubba. I like that. <laughs> hubba hubba. All right, I got to zoom back out so you can see the whole. Um, so that was gorge. I still, I'm going to need more black then because I'm going to use, um, I'll use a little bit of a smaller cap because I just feel like I want circles that aren't attached to anything. And as I say that, I'm like attaching them to the other. I think I'm going to go with um, the pink fluorescent glitter too. I'm going to put that on these ones that I did with the white. So I'm going to use my finger again. The hair. But see how we're not making mud because they're contrasting colors. So now I think I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to add our, um, I'm going to find courage, love and courage. And I think those are going to be my words and I'm going to put the hearts and I think we'll be done. So these are just, I may have to um, shade around these to get these to really I don't know if I'm going to use him, but I think something like that. And I'm just going to shade around these to get them to be, um, to stand out. So I got to let everything dry. I'll be back. Okay. I think I want to do one more thing just in order to make sure that these hearts are going to be the one thing that pops. Um, but I am going to shade. You guys know that I love to shade behind my... Um, I have two different hearts. I'm not heart. Circle stencils. But I also have like this doily stencil. and I. But I don't see my doilies anymore. I mean, I kind of see the texture. Um... Like the heart doily completely disappeared, and I kind of regret that. Um, but see, I, I never know where I'm going when I first start um, a project like this. So, um, oh God. Jenny, you need to stop. She never stops. It's late. I was thinking I could add some more white with this doily. I think I'm going to do that. I have this shape. My dog is getting pissed. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm either going to do that, oh boy, or white dots, and then I'm going to adhere the hearts, and then I'll come back and shade and add um, my words. I'm going to put courage. I'm going to put a lot of different affirmations on here, all right? So I'm just going to stencil white paint either with circles or 
this doily. I think the doily shape is what I'm going to do, but i got to separate my dogs. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've glued down my hearts. I'm really happy with it because now is when we add all the details. So I just went around and stenciled this. I ended up using this doily stencil, which I don't know. I guess it's a doily. And I put it in a few places and I just sponged it on with white and a uh, uh, makeup sponge. And so it picked up some of the color that was underneath, so it's not straight white. Um, what else did I do? Because it's the next day. Um, and then I just glued on my hearts. I think that was it. I may have added a couple more. So see how there's gold on top of the hearts? I did a few more um, bottle caps um, with gold, and I think I added a couple black. So just to kind of incorporate the hearts into the piece. And now I'm going to do my favorite part. I'm going to shade around the whole thing. So I have this really big um, angle brush because I like to float. And you guys, those of you who um, don't float or know how to do um, this technique can just use your... Um, Faber-Castell pit pens or whatever, and I'm using, um, what is this called? Payne's Gray. So I'm just going to push it up against the edge and just frame the pages with a little bit of color. I mean, you can do it any way you want. You could use, what are those, um, I, I, I don't have words today. Man, yesterday I had a lot of good words. <laughs> Uh, but it's the um, Stabilo, right? The Stabilo All Pencil. It's like a, a water-soluble black pencil that I love and I never use because I like to float. And when I'm kind of now evolving into my own style of artist, because for years I was a copycat. I call myself a copycat. Um, because other people designed the pieces that I painted. Um, and I got really good at that using these techniques that I learned in decorative painting. So that's why, uh, that's my brother. I'll be right back. All right. So I did the outside and now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna switch brushes because I'm gonna repeat myself, guys. What do I always say? I'm a heavy hand. So I'm just switching down to my favorite but I'm going to go around my hearts and then I'm going to add some really nice words because I'm kind of doing this page this page is inspired by my son Matthew who I love and he is going through a process right now of recovery and um, you know, I see it as a rebirth or, you know, I don't know. I am such a, I am really a positive person. I can't help it. And speaking of my brother who just called, um, he told me that this place that Maddie's going to, it's a therapeutic curriculum there. And supposedly that's kind of, it's one of the last places that uses this philosophy it's it's kind of like it's a beat you down to build you up thing and all this stuff so this is the last time he called me this morning and it scared me I was like oh my god all right so I go online and I google it and um yeah it is it's a therapy it's called therapeutic um philosophy whatever so basically it's for people who don't have insurance so they they it's kind of like a last resort but it's run on donations and it's run by other people in recovery but there's like you know seniority and stuff so if you've been clean longest you're kind of a higher up in the I don't know and I I was like so what that's okay. And he was just like saying, yeah, everyone says it's like they beat, you know, all this bad stuff. 
And I'm like, well, maybe they're a bunch of wussies who just aren't, weren't there to get well. And they just wanted to complain. And, you know, that's what I think. Like, listen, if you're, if you're in it to get well, you'll find the good things. That's what I would do. I don't know. Like, yeah, life, and life isn't perfect. Life isn't perfect. The world isn't perfect. Anyway, so this page is an homage to my son. He's going to do it. He's going to figure it out. I just know it. I have confidence in him. So can you see my hearts better now? And I'm going to outline them too. Um, but, so he just called me back and I said, you know, I didn't appreciate that little, uh, you know, and I told him. I said, look, it's his, his life. If he wants to get well, he'll get well. You know, maybe a bunch of wussies told you that, oh, they were so mean and uh, uh. Well, I'm sorry. If you want to get well, you'll get well. Sorry. So I have, um, this is a stencil by Dina Wakely, uh, Media. I don't know what it's called. You can. So I've had it in my stash, never used it. You can be strong, choose joy, be happy, transform. So I am going to finish this off, and I think I want to do it with black. So I did a page in my art journal last year where I did this. I think it was my turkey, right? So here he is. Be happy, laugh, sing, dream, hope. Right? And I did that with crackle paste in white. But I think I'm going to um, coat this with gel medium, I think. Or, let's see, matte medium. Because that way, if I mess up, I won't smudge it all over the page because I really do love it. And then I can some, do some doodling maybe um, and finish off. But I think that's going to be it. And I am really, really happy with it. I got to play with color and glitter and shine and I like it a lot. It's a very happy, positive feeling my heart so I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll be back to show you the final thing I'm not gonna um I'm just gonna take my oh my gosh my animals are crazy that's my parakeet um Maya's abuelita gave that to me um I can't find my um so yeah I'll go I'm gonna get my palette knife which it's here somewhere and I'm gonna do this with I was thinking black gesso because it is a paste. Yeah, I think I'm going to, it's like a cream really. So, but first I need to coat the page with, um, let's see, I'm just going to use matte medium, which is just going to put a, a clear coating on top so that if I mess up, I can take it off. So I'll be right back and show you the finished product. All right, the gesso did not work. This is a, I would say it's a, a cream. Um, it's not a, a paste, and I think the pastes work better through the stencil because I want to put Be Strong. So I'm going to stencil it with just paint. I'm going to use black paint, and um, I may add stickles to it or something, but I think... And see, by putting that coat of matte medium on, I was able to just wipe it off and not have a disaster, which I would be so sad. And I went around um, the hearts with this China marker by Sharpie, and I've never really used them, but I just wanted to try that. So I am going to stencil, and this is a makeup sponge, so it's not a stenciling product, you know what I mean? I'm going to use a fresh one. But they're cosmetic sponges, right? So let's just hope for the best. I'm going to put Be Strong right across this heart. And hope for the best, guys. Um, I think I'll be better off with this because it's I can control it. That, oh, that gesso is just so gloppy. So let's see. It's still not as, look, I totally, I was too heavy handed with the G, but I like it. Um, let me just wipe with a paper towel. I just don't want it to get 
I'm just going to wipe the back of it off. I'm going to put transform right here. I'm trying not to go on black. Maybe I'll put it over a little like right here. And try not to be as heavy handed, but I am heavy handed so it's a little bit difficult. Oh, what a mess. But anyway, it's art, right? And you can read it. Be Strong's Crooked, too. Then I wanted to put Be Happy. I'm going to put Be Happy right across these two hearts. And then you know what? I think I'll out maybe I'll outline it with a white um, gel pen, or I'll just connect the letters. I kind of like the idea of having it um, be uh, not like. See, I could have just written it, but I thought I was kind of. Um, see, this one looks nice and clean, so I kind of like that. But I still think I'd like to connect it and make the letters like this. I like this better because it just, you know, I guess that's a certain kind of font, but it's usually, look how much better that one was like because these I filled it up too much. I'm just grabbing a piece of it. Um, deli paper in case that's still wet and then I think I will um, and this brush is really gnarly it's a gnarly brush so this is what I want for my son so excited to see what can happen and um, excited for him to transform this is an R this is an M his life and be happy you know what I'm gonna go around the edges like, you can do doodling. I just feel like doing this. Didn't need it. This is a Posca paint pen. Another one of those tools that I rarely use because I'm a painter. I know how to use paint and a brush. Um, and I do think I'm going to go around some of that stuff and shape those letters up. Um, I could do it, like on this one, I could use pinks. But you can see it from a distance, so I'm happy. I'm going to sign it because I want to put the date. Because I was looking through my art journal, and I don't think I've signed very many of these. This one has January 17. Oh, 7, 16. So that was so, I don't know. I've signed a couple of them. Oh, good, 2, 16. Yeah, I've at least put the dates. January 17. Okay, good. I didn't think I had, but and this one Maya did. Oh good, I have it. 216. Yay, I lied. I definitely oh Sarah 216. Alright. So I will put what is this? Oh dear, it's the first. 2118. And I think I'm gonna go around the letters with my white Posca paint pen. The only thing is like I have a gel pen. And these, this one's the best one, the Signo Uniball, 
but on mixed media it doesn't always cooperate like it'll skip and so I think I'm just going to use my pasta because I have them guys I have them in every size so this is the medium this is the thin or the fine let's try this medium one and this is acrylic paint and you just have to get it flowing and let's see how this looks maybe I'll just do it on one side I like to do that B eh, I don't like it I should have done it you know you know what I'm doing like um what is it called um, Ginny she's just licking herself you know what I think it's because it's my son's dog and she's a poodle and she had uh, a lot of hair matted and all that and like she's just licking her arms she's licking everything because she can feel her skin now that looks okay I don't know I think I fixed it sorta of, kinda um, but it was fun that's my favorite part. I enjoyed it. Enjoy the process, guys. And um, if it's not fun, don't do it. Or, you know, try something different. Do use the tools that you love. I mean, you paid for them, right? And don't worry if anyone else will like it and be happy I love it alright you guys that's it I gotta go walk my dogs <laughs> have a good one thanks for watching